Hi, I'm Skylar. How did geocache with an iPad? It's a great question. One of the great things about iPad that's different from, say, iPod, is that it has a built-in GPS chip. And it also has a compass. So you can use that compass in order to precisely locate yourself. Um, let's take a look at a free compass application you could get from the App Store. We'll allow it to use our current location. And we have to calibrate the compass. There's some interference. You do this by moving your iPad in a figure eight pattern, like so. There we go. So now the compass is calibrated. And you can see that it's actually incredibly accurate, or at least sensitive. You could also overlay this view on maps. But at the heart of geocaching is simply knowing where you are. And if you've got an accurate compass, you're more than halfway there. This way, you can see your precise latitude and longitude, your coordinates right here, your altitude here. We're at 171 feet above sea level, interestingly enough. We can also see the speed at which we move and our heading. So this is basically all you need to do geocaching. If you actually want to make a cache, you've got a couple other things to use on your iPad, like, say, the camera. So, Say you find a place to cache something. You open up your camera, and you can take a picture of it. You can use that picture to share with geocaching websites, for example. So now you've got a great compass. You've got maps built into your iPad. You could also download offline top topological maps, which would give you a very um, uh, surefire way of being able to know where you are on maps and charts. Um, so. Those are three really great tools that you could use to do geocaching on an iPad. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.